And it is the big day for the ANC Youth League today as it celebrates its 79th birthday in Mpumalanga. And despite being on a mission to revive itself after electing new leaders, the league is still facing questions on whether its voice is still relevant in the country's political landscape. And how is the ANC Youth League addressing challenges young people face in the country? ENCA reporter Moloko Moloto is attending the celebrations. Good afternoon to you, Moloko, and thank you for joining us. 79 years is no small feat and uh, quite a lot of milestones that the ANC Youth League uh, had achieved back in from 1944 or even prior there. Just give us a sense of the celebrations and what is expected on the program today. Well, good afternoon, Cindy Mabi. The ANC Youth League, as you said, was founded on this day in 1944 when young people within the ANC felt like the mother body was just too slow in confronting the injustices of uh, the past. And the likes of Nelson Mandela, the likes of uh, Anton Lembete, who became the first uh, president of the ANC Youth League, but also young women at the time the likes of Aydam Tuana came together to decide and to form this uh, organization of young people in the ANC Youth League. Today they brought this anniversary celebration to Mpumalanga. This is exactly where, upon the unveiling of political parties just before the 1994 elections or the dawn of democracy, the ANC Youth League elected Peter Mugaba as the president of the league, ushering the ANC into the 1994 victory. But let's speak to Ronald Lamola, who was recently the deputy president of the ANC Youth League. Thank you so much for your time, Minister. Maybe let's talk about the, the fact that the Youth League decided to bring this event here. The connection at the time the Youth League was so vibrant. Juxtapose that to the state of the Youth League today, having been disbanded eight years ago. Yeah, no, thank you. I think it's a significant um, decision by the national structure of the Youth League to bring it here to invoke that fighting spirit of Peter Mkaba, Pax Mankatlan and that generation that was here in the reformative years of the Youth League. They are also at that stage where they are now remobilizing, reorganizing the young people of the ANC in a more progressive way that uh, will be suitable to today's conditions. So I think it is befitting that they brought it here. You were the deputy president of the Youth League when the National Executive Committee of the ANC disbanded you eight years ago. You are now in the National Executive Committee of the ANC, and young people are known to be uh, radical and militant in their approach. The issue of tolerance of dissent. Are you guys going in the NEC, considering the overtures that they have made? I mean, I have seen that uh, they are trying to summon uh, your colleagues, possibly yourself as ministers, to come and account to them as the ANC Youth League. Do you tolerate such uh, overtures uh, by these young people, or do they stand a chance of being uh, having their, uh, uh, their throats slit the same way you were removed as the NEC of the ANC Youth League? Yeah, obviously the strength of the Youth League is in its autonomy and its ability to, to make mistakes and be corrected. Even ourselves, when we made mistakes, there were several occasions where we were corrected by the leadership of the ANC. So I do believe that uh, even this structure has to be given that space and an opportunity. And if there are issues, the ANC leadership will be able to engage constructively and nurture the leadership of the, of the Youth League in a proper direction, which will still allow them to do what they are supposed to experience in the revolution, in the prosecution of the National Democratic Revolution. So that will be the role of the ANC in guiding um, the Youth League. Uh, and also the Youth League itself will also have to play a role so that it does not also become a copy and paste of the ANC. There must still be a difference when you look at the programs that it is pursuing, the issues that it is uh, attending to, that are aimed to rally young people. So that distinction must always be there so that it can be able to, to perform and execute its function. And let's talk about the role that they have to play leading into the elections next year. We know a lot of young people have decided not even to register to vote. How do you think, what role do you think the ANC Youth League will have to play in order to convince these young people to register and vote? 
Firstly, is to champion the interest of young people throughout the country, uh, besieged by unemployment, lack of economic growth, and the various challenges of substance abuse, crime in the country. So I do think that in the forefront of the Youth League's program, that should be what then must enable them to mobilize young people to, to register and understand the value and seizing the opportunities um, of our democracy. That is the key issue that is in the minds of all young people across the country. I have to take advantage of the fact that you are also Minister of uh, Constitutional Development. You tabled um, the amendment bill before Parliament and hopefully it shall be passed into an Act of Parliament that will empower particularly the NPA by making the ID a permanent structure within the NPA in order to fight corruption. But a lot of people are still asking, where are the Guptas? Do we stand a chance of seeing them coming to account for whatever they are accused of in South Africa? How far is the process? Yeah, I think um, the bill which we have tabled will indeed strengthen the work of the ID to be able to have the investigative powers and prosecutors within one roof so that they are able to take decisions in real time under one command and enable them to also have the necessary uh, state-of-the-art technology and resources that are required in the modern day of fighting crime and corruption, or wire fraud, and all types of sophisticated crime. With regards to the Guptas, indeed, they will one day come back to our country to account for what they are needed for in terms of the number of issues and transgressions that they are being needed for and charged for by both the NPA and the issues that emanated from the Zondo Commission of Inquiry. We are still in engagement with the UAE. There are a number of questions that uh, were sent to them with regards to the failed um, extradition request that the UAE has not yet answered, which they must answer, and that will enable the NPA to then request uh, an extradition afresh. And we have sent a number of non-verbals and escalated this into a diplomatic um, issue because uh, it's an issue of national interest. Lastly, I mean, you have said this before, that the process is underway to get them back. Are you able to attach any timelines to say by then we hope that they would be here? Yeah, obviously we are unable to because um, the su su situation is not dependent entirely on us. It's dependent on the cooperation also of the requested country. And we are doing everything diplomatically possible to escalate the matter. And as I've said, it's a matter of national interest, which we continue to impress upon the UAE. But are your counterparts at the UAE cooperating here fully? Yeah, at this stage, um, we can't really say they are cooperating, because as I've said, there are questions that have been asked by the Central Authority and the National Prosecuting Authority that must be answered by the UAE. Up until then, we are unable to say they are fully cooperative. Thank you so much for your time. Ronald Lamola, the former Deputy President of the ANC Youth League and currently the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Development, giving us an update there. As Teddy, my colleague, is showing you the young people who have come here braving the hot weather condition. Uh, there really is indeed are two main grandstands at this particular stadium. It's not a very big stadium, I must say. This is the first uh, grandstand. The other one behind uh, the camera operator colleague, is all, they are also seated there, the young people of the ANC Youth League. This program should have started at about 11 o'clock this morning. And uh, as matters stand, it will appear that they will start any time from now. And uh, Deputy President of the party, Mr. Paul Mashatile, is uh, going to be giving a keynote address. And Moloko, often the question around the attendees and the numbers uh, of which that they had come out of, you cannot really say it is a capacity crowd. Uh, maybe some are still attending. In your view, is this a well-attended event? Well, I, I, look, the numbers are not bad, but I suppose for an organization that has been in existence for nearly 80 years, one would have thought that um, they possibly could have done far much better than this. And we know, Cindy, that uh, when it comes to political party rallies, it's a, a, a matter of a, or a game of numbers. They always want to project themselves to be enjoying the support of the rank and file. And 
if you look at uh, what other parties, for instance, recently the Economic Freedom Fighters, and somebody would argue that it was uh, an organization or a rally of uh, the mother body when it came to the EFF, when they celebrated their 10th anniversary. This is an organization as the Youth League that is coming from a state of, um, um, I mean, they were disbanded. Eight years, they really did not exist. One would argue, as I was just talking to some of the leaders there, they are saying we are rebuilding this organization. But yes, ultimately, this is the organization of Nelson Mandela. There are people who will say it ought to really live up to expectation. Moloko, did you see an adjustable stage, maybe a forklift to something that can add a little bit of theatrics in the stadium? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just uh, I couldn't no, no, resist. No, 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 not at this point in time. <laughs> uh, I couldn't resist. We're going to have to leave No, 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 here. you certainly are not going to see the elevation of anyone here as uh, we saw at FNB with Julius Malema. No, I don't think so. All right, Moloko, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks indeed, ENC reporter Moloko Moloto, who is at Kamil River in Mpumalanga as the NC Youth League is marking its 79th commemoration.